Hey guys, this is Jeremy with a short review of The Elder Scrolls Online, as you can see the, with the title screen, the, you know what I mean, talking about. Um, so yeah, the, the, the full video for this is going to be on my Twitch, and I can link it right here-ish, somewhere in there. So if you guys want to watch the uh, full play through, then you can. Uh, I got through the tutorial and played about half hour of regular content. And it was decently fun. Uh, as you can see right now, I'm kind of messing with the graphics settings to try and uh, get it to be optimized on my computer, you know. Run as fast as possible with as good graphics as possible during it. There's... Uh, it's not an extremely... Uh, I keep saying... Uh, it's not an extremely graphics-intensive game. It's made so that the low settings, see, it actually looks really, really awful right now, but the low settings you can actually play on a relatively bad computer. My computer isn't great. It's a laptop, for one, so if any of you guys have moderate, up, oh, hold on a second, I just, moderately okay uh, desktop computers, then you'll probably be able to run it better than mine, and decently new laptops should be able to run it on, you know, at least medium uh, quality, so... There's that. Um, in terms of the character creation, as you can see, I'm going through it right now. There are a lot of different options, which is always good. I'm not one of those people who likes to go very in-depth in my character creation. I just like playing the content of the game. But for those of you who are very into extraordinarily in-depth uh, personalization, then you can, you know, there's a lot of that. If you look closely right now at the skin color, uh, tab right there, that's actually not supposed to look that bad, like, there's supposed to be different shades and stuff like that there, it's just, my computer, you know, can't load things as well as possible, so, um, I think in this one, I chose to be a night elf, or not a night elf, a wood elf, because archery is generally the route that I take on my first characters with most MMOs, and especially games like Skyrim, I just prefer ranged combat over melee combat, and, I prefer combat that doesn't require uh, mana, specifically. As you can see right now, I'm getting decent frames per second. Uh, the detail is not that bad. It's actually kind of reminds me of uh, a mixture of Skyrim and Oblivion, where the uh, Oblivion graphics were kind of bad, but the detail is high enough, like, with how much stuff is there, where it's, like, Skyrim level. I don't want to um, reveal too much as, you know, about the... Uh, the storyline and stuff like that. So if you wanna, I mean, you're you're watching our review, so clearly it's going to be um, there's gonna be some spoilers, but it won't be that bad. So I'm not gonna make this extremely long, so you don't have to worry about like you know end game stuff or anything like that. So Sky or not Sky, and wow, uh, the Elder Scrolls Online is supposed to be released on April 4th of uh, 2014, and as far as I I don't actually know exactly how. It's going to, like, if it's going to be free-to-play, pay-to-play, uh, subscription, or maybe something more like, um, what's the, Guild Wars, where it's just a, a single payment, and then you can play as long as you want. I've heard rumors that it's actually going to be, you have to have a, uh, $15 a month subscription fee, and there's possibility for, uh, real-life marketplaces where, like, you can spend real money on things as opposed to in-game gold. But I don't, you know, I can't confirm that rumor or anything like that, so if things change, it, it is a beta, and they are, it's not released yet, so there's definitely possibility for them to change their minds about anything that they want to. The gameplay is relatively smooth. Uh, there have been a couple of glitches. I've actually encountered a single glitch in my uh, playing so far, and it's at, it's at the very end of my uh stream on Twitch where I was talking to an NPC and I was um, in the process of doing my sign off and my character glitched into a wall and I couldn't move or do anything. But I think you can just file a ticket and get unstuck or maybe fast travel, something like that to get out of that. I didn't even bother looking too much into it. As you can see right now, I'm equipping very basic gear. It starts you off with a wide selection of uh, what items you want. I don't think it gives you anything like a dagger, but it's, you know, there's maces, there's axes, there's bows, there's stabs for uh, restoration and destruction magic. 
the um the skill system is fairly cool actually we're going to stop here for a second there we go uh, as we can see I have uh, made it to the part of the game where you can invest points into skills I chose the stealth class at the very beginning during character creation and so now you can see that you can invest skill points into various skills that uh, each class has and um, each class has three different trees, as you can see right uh, there. And then there's skills for your weapon, skill for your armor, skills for the world, which is, uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how that works, but there's also racial skills and craft skills. Uh, I later on choose to invest in uh, Poison Arrow because I think that, uh, or I thought at the time that it was the best skill to invest in, and it, it served me pretty well. It's a very WoW-esque, uh, World of Warcraft-esque, that is, system for using the skills where you have a hop bar that starts with uh, 1 through 5, and you press the numbers to activate each skill whenever you want to do it, obviously. So, it's convenient. There's no uh, huge hiccups with it, and I'm sure you can remap it to mouse buttons if you want to do that, or different uh, letters on your keyboard, that kind of thing. You know, there's probably... a enough customization there for it not to matter um we're gonna cut again and we're back uh, as you can see right now I'm actually about to attack this mud crab and what I will do is I will shoot an arrow and then immediately activate my uh, poison arrow because it it's just a strategy that I learned while playing WoW where instant instant cast things uh, if you do them right after you fire a regular attack it deals a small amount of burst damage so it's it's a convenient way of doing it, uh, as I was looking to, uh, the way that skills level up is you, uh, the more you use them, the better they get, kind of thing. So, uh, you should probably be using your skills as often as possible. I think right about here, right after we pick up the natural water, uh, we find our first locked chest, and there's a mini game here that had no explanation at all, so I had no clue what I was doing when I first did it, and as you can see, I, uh, performed fairly miserably. Now there's a blurb here with uh, how to do lock picking, which is basically you press down on the lo uh, the tumbler until it shakes, and then you immediately let go, and it will lock in place, or spring back up if you hold on too long, which I think we do right. Nope, that time we just broke a lock pick. So see now that one's locked in place, that one's locked in place, um, and that one we held on too long so it sprung back up which we will continue doing because we are bad at that and I just I have bad reaction times to that kind of thing so it's all about uh practicing and oh, do we get it do we get it nope we don't so we have to do it again really? I think yeah um it's a fairly fun little mini game but you know if you don't have good reaction times it's going to be kind of difficult and I think your lock picking skill can go up which will help you along your way you know just like in Skyrim and Oblivion and Morrowind I think had lock picking too yeah it was just it didn't have a mini game and in this chest we find our first screen item which is a maple bow of flame it deals extra uh, fire damage every single time it hits something so it's it's really cool and the graphic for it is cool when you uh, draw the bow if you full draw which I'm not doing clearly um, you, you did I'm not, I don't even know if I equipped it. Either way, uh, it, it actually, like, the bow will glow with, uh, oh no, I'm not level 3 yet, that's why I couldn't use it, but the bow actually has, like, flames on it when you're wielding it, which is kind of a neat little graphic, and I, I liked it. The quests are fairly easy, they're all just, um, oh, here, hold on a second, we can do one better. Here you can see us approaching an NPC named Sergeant Furion, who will give us a quest to go find her uh, colleagues who crashed in a boat crash with her. Um, the quests are fairly easy, at least at the beginning. I don't know about later game content, but it's as simple as going over and talking. Actually, in this quest we have to pick up a couple of items that you can find around the shore and you give them to NPCs that crashed, and it it's quote-unquote heals them. Um, it's a fairly easy process. Like I said, there's it's generic MMO stuff. There's nothing different than uh, World of Warcraft or Guild Wars or anything like that. I actually can't think of any other huge MMOs at the moment, but... 
Um, as you can see, they took the time to add things like seagulls and stuff like that, which I thought was a kind of cool touch. Uh, what happened there? We leveled up. That's cool. I think we're going to equip our bow, actually. Well, after we take the time to kill these mud crabs, because that's vastly important. Um, I actually noticed about here that the poison damage from the uh, poison arrow wasn't actually that good. It It's doing more um, flat damage and a very small amount of burst damage, or uh, damage over time, rather, so... I I still liked the skill, but it wasn't you know as useful as I thought it was. There we go. We equip our uh, flaming bow, and as you can see, it is actually on fire, which doesn't seem very good for the structure of the wood. But I don't know. Oh, also, yep. There's uh there's your level up system right there. You put a point into health, stamina, or magical, just like in Skyrim, and stamina actually determines the damage that your uh, weapons do, which I thought was a little awkward. Uh, generally speaking, that's more of a strength or dexterity thing, but with only stamina, magicka, and health, you really don't have much of a choice there for what to. Oh, sorry about that. What to put, you know, damage under. I think I invest another point. No, uh, you can't invest more points into poison arrow right now. It is rank two though, so we're making progress there. I think I put a point into. Uh, soul tap because I have my enchanted weapon now and I put another point into uh, I think it was a passive or something like that there are as you can see right here the crafting abilities which don't really have uh, you can't put points into them you more level them up over time as far as I know and you can find resources like ores and stuff like that in the uh, vast wilderness soul trap. I got soul trap already had a point in it that just deals minor damage over time and uh if you have a soul gem, it absorbs the soul into it, just like, you know, in Skyrim. It's, it's very similar to Skyrim in terms of what does what. Not necessarily how things level up, but, you know, what each skill does, stuff like that. So, um, what did I put a point in two? Uh, da -da -da -da. Not that it really matters anyways, because if you want to watch all of this stuff, you can go and uh, take a look over at my Twitch.tv account. Um, what else is there to talk about? Really not much, I don't think. Uh, in general, the game was fairly fun. I didn't play a whole lot because I, I have uh, other obligations going on at the moment, but I had enough time to record for a little while, so I figured it would be decent. The, uh, the beta is actually over for now. I, I think there might be another one, uh, two weeks from now, which I might, if I get, uh, re-invited, I would definitely stream again so you guys can look forward to that if it happens but if not no big deal i probably will end up playing this at some point depending on how expensive it is and what my uh financial situation is at the time other than that i mean uh i think all that's left to show you guys is the glitch at the end so i'm going to cut over to I'm actually gonna and here we are we are going to talk to uh this Sorry. captain of this ship who is going to assist us with a uh our next quest in the quest line uh, if you'd like to read it, go ahead. But the basic gist is we did a couple of errands for her to help her fix up her bow and find uh, a couple of items around and kill some people. And now um, she's going through the process of explaining what happened and why she can't help us as much as we would like. But uh, we get another quest to talk to somebody and we click on goodbye. And nothing happens. We are stuck here. There is nothing we can do. There are no buttons we can press or anything like that. I think that uh, we might have been able to fast travel, but I don't know really how to do that. Um, but yeah, so the game isn't 100% done. Obviously, there are still some glitches to work out, but I mean, in terms of... Um, I think I just leveled up there or something. Someone healed me, maybe. I don't know. I definitely think that it is uh, steps in the right direction. There, I believe that it is Zenimax's first MMO that they made. Which, for their first MMO, I think that they're on in the right, you know, going in the right direction. Actually, right here, I think I'm about to. Yep, uh, I just tried to uh, turn on graphics at high quality. And if you want, we can sit here for 
ever, but it will literally be on the screen for the rest of the video because I just quit after waiting for five minutes of not being able to do anything. But that's because my computer sucks. But yeah, anyways, so I would give this like a three and a half out of five or like a seven out of ten because it's 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 an Elder Scrolls game. They put a lot of heart and soul into their stuff and there lots of detail, that kind of thing. But there are some glitches right now and there's a couple of rumors that uh they might go back on the word about the whole subscription thing, which they had said they weren't going to do a, a monthly subscriber fee, but anything like that. Um, other than that, I definitely think it's a good game, and I think that it's worth my time. Uh, definitely at least on par with World of Warcraft once the bugs get fixed, and potentially better than that. I've heard really, really good things about the uh, PvP systems in comparison to WoW. So, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, Elder Scrolls Online uh, in or not interview. Uh, review i meant to say um i definitely think that it is uh, a good game and you should look out for it so like the video if you want subscribe to us if that's what you would like to do as well it would greatly help us if you could do that for us uh spread the word about 99 lives because we are definitely still in business and we want as many uh viewers as we possibly can get so uh talk to your friends about it you know let them know that we're we're still doing stuff and stuff like that uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.